Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. My name is Muhammad Asim. I am working as DevOps engineer. Guys, in this video, I'm going to cover the GK Ingress, the Kubernetes engine by Google. So what we are going to do, uh, we are going to use the Cloudflare and we are going to set up the TLS in no time. So uh, Cloudflare is a very powerful service. It provides uh, free services and one of the free services is free SSL certificate. Along with that, it provides free DDoS mitigation. It provides um, the world fastest DNS resolver along with that free CDN service. So it has a lot of offering. Uh, you can create a free account um, with Cloudflare and use this service and it resolves a lot of issues in the modern era, um, the DevOps phase, like the management of certificates, other caching, CDN, and other issues. Anyway, uh, I'm going to show you my uh, GK setup. So I have three node cluster, but I'm going to, uh, first of all, let me show you uh, kubectl get nodes. So I have this uh, cluster setup, right? And this is the default version right uh, now with uh, GKE. So I'm using that. Anyway, uh, what we are going to do, uh, first of all, let me show you the repo. And this is our repo. And uh, I'm going to provide the link of this repo. Uh, you need to simply clone this repo, right? Simply click this and get clone this repo. So. Um, if you navigate to the search section, what we are going to do, uh, first step is to click this um, GKTXT uh, and uh, you need to update your project. So what I've done, um, I've already cloned the repo and I'm going to open this in my VS code. So uh, what I'm going to do, uh, so let me click uh, this repo, uh, navigate to, sorry, um, navigate to this app, uh, uh, sorry, gke.txt. What I'm going to do, I'm going to simply update this uh, guy, and I'm going to update my uh, project ID, right? So project ID is this one. So simply I'm going to copy this guy, and I'm going to paste it here, right? So what we are going to do as a first step, what I'm going to do, I'm going to create a static uh, global IP and I'm going to use this as ingress. You can uh, use uh, any ingress controller with GK, steps are going to be the same. So uh, let me create this IP and I'm going to show you this IP uh, is going to be created and I'm going to copy this command and I'm going to paste it. You will see one IP is going to be available with the name Cloud Geek dash IP. So this is going to be our ingress. What I'm going to do, I'm going to navigate to my uh, DNS section. I'm going to click Edit. So our service is going to be, uh, or I should say, the demo service is going to be blue. And I'm going to simply, you know, proxying this. So uh, Cloudflare for the proxy service. So let's see how we can set up the ingress. So uh, now I'm going to simply uh, navigate to this section. Uh, before that, uh, what I need to tell you that regarding the TLS uh, script, I created the certificate authority and um, domain self censor. So I already covered uh, this in my previous video. So definitely I'm not going to cover all this uh, steps you can see my previous video regarding the cloud fair okay so what I'm going to do is simply copy the cert uh, so these certs are signed with 100 years um, self and certificate we are going to use that so now what I'm going to do uh, let me show you the link uh, which uh, you can use to navigate to create uh, Uh, certificate so simply I'm going to copy this guy 
right and i'm going to i'm going to paste it here so it's a uh, gk uh, documentation but what i'm going to do i'm going to simply uh, going to use the shortcut in fact i've copied the wrong link let me just copy uh, the right link okay ssl certificate manage uh, i think this is the right one i've copied let me check what I missed, okay. So self-sense certificate, right? Okay. So uh, simply click this guy, right? So I'm going to remove this guy. You see, just uh, we are in the right area. So in load balancing section, um, uh, load balancing components, uh, you will find this create SSL certificate. So I'm going to create the certificate with name Cloud Geeks. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to simply copy the cert uh, as I discussed with you. This is the Cloud Geeks TK dot cert, right? And I'm going to simply copy this guy, and uh, then simply I'm going to paste the private key of this cert, right? So you know, this is the demo and all this stuff is just for educational purposes and this domain is just for edu educational purposes I set up for you guys. I'm going to create this third. So uh, you will see uh, after a few minutes that uh, in fact in a short while you will see this uh, third is going to be available. And uh, this is the one which Cloudflare uses. Uh, so I'm using this domain cloudgeeks.tk uh, subdomain star or wildcard SSL uh, sorry wildcard I'm using with uh, my domain right and wildcard dot wildcard dot cloudgeeks.tk so as far as this script uh, it is very powerful simply what you can do you can enter uh, I mean multiple uh, Domain names with the DNS four, five, six, seven, uh, like different domains, uh, yourdomain.com, abcdomain.com, example.com. So I mean, you can add multiple domain subdomains. Um, uh, I mean, till the level you want. Uh, so anyway, this is regardless of regarding the script. Now what we are going to do, we are going to simply create a sample application. Uh, for that, I'm going to create a namespace and I'm going to create this namespace uh, blue and I'm going to create this sample application. So uh, this is my uh, image which I post to my public uh, registry in Docker Hub. It is going to pull that image and I'm going to expose this deployment on port 80 and I'm going to uh, show you the declarative way of uh, using the ingress, although you can simply automate uh, with the Helm chart and other uh, related uh, the way you prefer method. So uh, what we are going to do, you just need to see the annotations. So uh, please share third Cloud Geeks, which we have already created. Uh, Cloud Geeks IP, I have shown you how we have created so uh, nothing really else it is going to call the backend service which we have exposed on port 80 the name of the uh, service is this so simply i'm going to show you let me show you uh, kubectl get os in namespace namespace is uh, blue you will see all the deployment service and pods are going to be available in this uh, namespace so simply i'm going to now if I navigate to this uh, directory and gke search, I'm going to simply kubectl do apply ingress and that's it. So our service is going to be uh, available on HTTPS shortly and uh, we are using in this demo the uh, gke um, load balancer controller uh, which is uh, by default used at the back end and back end it uses as per my knowledge then nginx 
but anyway this is the default uh, ingress controller provided by gk we are using that you can use the nginx controller or any other uh, ingress controller so uh, what we are going to do so i said do uh, kubectl get uh, ingress in namespace uh, what is the namespace blue so it will take time uh, just to tell you that and simply to see some of the stuff regarding the ingress uh, uh, you will see some of the stuff uh, what's happening at the back end describe this ingress simply copy this uh, and describe this sub uh, ingress so you will see some of the uh, information that you see here scheduled for synchronization uh, this url created so uh, one it happens and what it does it will uh, provide the public ip you see it has provided it and if i describe it again you will see more information so now we have ip so if i navigate to uh, load balancer section so uh, okay so uh, it has uh, launched the load balancer section uh, load balancer and um, i'm going to copy this guy to give you a little more details on what we have so you will see that uh, um, i mean this is the protocol you see 4434 is available but your application will take some time so um, Uh, I mean, don't we get uh, you know disturbed that your application is not going to be available? So what I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to open next tab and I'm going to type blue dot cloud uh, cloud geeks dot tk. So as I discussed, it will take some time and you have to wait for a while. And the DNS propagation as well, along with that, usually it take uh, it takes four to five minutes. so uh, as you know that we have uh, we are using the self sign certificates and uh, this is the port 443 and uh, what cloud create does if you navigate to the ssl uh, section okay click the ssl you see the encryption is going to be from our origin our origin is the gke ingress uh, Uh, load balancer controller or gk ingress load balancer so in between there is a cloud there so let's try to refresh it again so as i discussed it will take some time we have to wait so everything seems to be okay i mean as far as the output of this describe command is okay and uh, you see kubectl will get ingress in namespace blue it has the ip so um, we have to wait for a while uh, as in see 3 uh, minutes uh, 57 second almost has gone so you have to wait for uh, at least 4 uh, to 5 minutes or 5 to 6 minutes so uh, till then i'm i want to show you some of the stuff uh okay you can pause the video but this is the load balancer controller this is the certificate which we have signed uh, and it is going to be uh, so easy uh, by i mean if you we if you use the um, um, cloud player um, managed certificate so how easy it is um, you see uh, let let me show you the exact time what it takes so kubectl get in this so it will take about 5 minutes so you see our application is up and running and let me show you the uh, certificates these are the valid certificates 
and it is going to be auto rotated by uh, Cloudflare and you don't have to manage yourself. So everything is okay regarding that. And let me show you the part. You can do the SSL verification, SSL verification of these search as well. Okay, uh, for this guy, let's see what what are the results regarding the SSL verification. You see, chain certificate chain, everything is okay regarding our search. So all takes are true, and if you wanna go check the same stuff. Uh, okay. Check server. Okay, leave it. Uh, I don't know uh, what it what it do. Okay, might be I need to. Okay, I need to put like this way. Okay, DNS resolver. Everything regarding that is now verified. DNS certificate uh, is correctly installed. You see everything is okay we are using the self signed certificate which we have used uh, so anyway uh, if you would like the video please like share and subscribe this is how easy if you use the cloud player with our uh, ingress on gk you can do that so that is it guys if you like the video please like share and subscribe the channel and have a nice day. Thank you.